five reasons why you don't hear from the narcissist. Why don't you hear from the narcissist? Why don't they contact you like they used to? Why don't they seem to need you anymore? In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you don't hear from the narcissist. One, new supply. The narcissist may have found a new supply. Someone who doesn't know what they're about. Someone to give them attention and admiration. Most often, this isn't anything for them to boast about. The narcissist often doesn't realize it at the time, but they do tend to downgrade. They do tend to end up with people who are less attractive or less successful. People who haven't got a lot going on in their lives. But once the narcissist has been around you for a certain amount of time, your supply loses its potency. Now they see anyone as being better than you. Because other people don't know what they're really about. They haven't been drained yet by the narcissist. So they have lots of energy and enthusiasm to give them. Lots of fuel. But it's only a matter of time until their supply loses its potency too. Until the narcissist gets bored of them. And that is when they will either hoover old sources of supply, which may include you, or they will seek out new sources. Two, failure. Just because the narcissist isn't contacting you, it doesn't always mean that they're with someone else. After your relationship with them, they may have been boasting about how their lives are so much better without you. How they don't have any problems now. but then they seem to disappear. It's like they don't want you to know what's really going on. They'd rather you just believe in the illusion. The lies that they tell you. Because the truth is too embarrassing for them to admit. Many of them end up in situations that are far worse after they've left you. While they're with you, they act like any other situation would be better. They're so out of touch with reality. And when they leave you, they fall they experience failure. They can't find any decent supply. They can't support themselves financially. Their lives become a mess. And that's why you may not hear from them. Because they don't want you to know what's really going on in their lives. When a narcissist is successful in something, they will want you to know everything that's going on. They will have so much to boast about. But when they suddenly ghost you, that should tell you that things aren't going as well as they wish they were.
that should tell you that they're probably experiencing failure. Three, rejection. You may not realize it, but in most cases, you rejected the narcissist. You may think that they discarded you first, but you stopped giving them attention. You stopped responding to them in the way that you once did. You used to admire and respect them. But because of all of the abuse and manipulation, you took a step back. You no longer wanted to deal with them. Maybe you didn't talk to them as much. Maybe you weren't as affectionate as you once were. Or maybe you stopped answering their calls. And the narcissist took this as a rejection. They felt like you didn't want to deal with them anymore. And that's why they discarded you. That's why they couldn't even look at you anymore. Because they can't deal with rejection. Most people don't like to be rejected. But for a narcissist, it's 10 times worse. And that is why towards the end of the relationship, they did everything they could to try to hurt you. Because in their minds, you hurt them first by rejecting them. They were trying to get revenge. They were trying to hurt you in return for a perceived injury they suffered at your hands. And once they believe that they've hurt you enough, they disappear. Because they can't be around someone who has rejected them. They can't even look at you without feeling shame without feeling like they're not good enough. Four, image and reputation. When things started to go wrong in the relationship, due to the narcissist's lack of empathy. The narcissist started to blame you. They started to make you feel like you were at fault because they cannot hold themselves accountable. They cannot accept when they have done something wrong. They have to see themselves as being perfect because otherwise they would open the floodgates to all of the things they've done wrong in their past. A narcissist think in black or white. They're either all good or all bad, perfect or fraud. And for them to feel like they're perfect, they had to blame you for everything. They had to make you feel like it was your fault. They had to smear your name to everyone and tell them you're crazy or a bad person. But once they've done this, they end up shooting themselves in the foot. It only makes their lives difficult. Because now they can't come back to you without looking stupid. Without looking like they lied about everything they said. To protect their image and reputation, they cannot contact you. They cannot be on good terms with you because they lied and told people all these horrible things about you. And that's another reason why you won't hear from them.
five, you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation. The reason why the narcissist left you is because you figured them out. You no longer wanted to deal with them after everything they did to you. And they know that contacting you isn't going to solve anything. They know you're not going to admire them. They know you're not going to have any respect for them. After everything they did to you. They know you're not going to believe in their lies. So what's the point in them coming back? They're only going to come back if they believe they can get something out of you. But they know that you're more aware now. They know that you figured them out. If they were to come back to you now, they would only be putting themselves in a position to be rejected by you again. They would only be putting themselves in a position to be humiliated. A narcissist cannot deal with rejection. They care a lot about what other people think of them. Even though they may not always act like they do. They care a lot about what you think about them. And that is why you don't hear from them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.